Hi class, so we met again. So this is about the tools and technologies for safeguarding information resources. So we have six items. The first one is about identity management software. This is to authenticate you as the user. Okay, for maybe you can access for certain part of the system. All right. Number two is about authentication. So we have five items here. The first one we have password system. You know what is password, right? Uh, sometimes the the system uh have the limitations, have the characters that they want to uh to uh include in the password system. And then we have the token, the token the token can be can be seen, cannot be seen, can be seen. So, uh, usually you use in the game arcade if you want to play a game. But the uh for the um for the um you cannot see for uh for example you want to communicate within the network so you have to make sure you have the token to make uh to make it the communication happen okay number three is about the smart card smart card uh usually we are uh, we we, uh, we are already um seen okay, in our daily life so the smart card can be your my card your bank card okay uh so they have the embedded chips here so the chips will integrate everything about your data Okay, and then we have biometric authentication. Biometric authentication is about your physical body, right? So we can you can look here. Okay, so this is the biometric technology. So you have the print. Okay, so we have the thumbprint. Okay, so we have this fingerprint, and then we have the body recognition, the face recognition, the uh retinal uh retinal um uh recognition. And then we have voice recognition. We have so many. Uh, but company organizations love to use fingerprint or thumbprint because it's easier for them. And then uh, for the biometric authentication, you have to maintain, do the maintenance uh, quite a lot. Because uh, if you uh, didn't do any maintenance, so there is no record. record okay? They will not record your data. Because you have to maintain um every month, uh twice a month, right? So this is about biometric, and then we have two factor authentication. Two factor authentication usually uh the the factor one and factor two must be compatible. Okay, for example, like your bank card when you uh, when you insert your bank card, you have to key in your pin number, right? So if your bank card doesn't compatible with your pin number, so the the authentication cannot be happen. All right, so this is about authentication. Okay, so this is about the token. Okay, number three is about firewall. Okay, well, uh, so the firewall can be the hardware and also the software. So this is the software. Okay, so firewall is a combination of hardware and software that prevents unauthorized users from accessing private network, especially for the organization. So they have the... Um, for items in the firewall, the first one we have static packet filtering. So they do the filter, okay, where you want to flow back and forth between the trusted network and internet. Especially if you want to access to the internet, if you want to access to the the network, you must it must be trustworthy, all right. And then we have stateful inspection. It provides the additional security by determining where the packets are part of an ongoing dialogue between sender and receiver to make sure there is no intruders when the communication happen at, uh, in the middle in the middle of the communication uh, network address translation so it will provide the layer of protection okay where you have static packet filtering and stateful inspection are uh, employed this all um, usually happen when you have the network address so they have to translate whether the address is trustworthy enough or not or you want to proceed the communication or not okay Number four is about application proxy filtering. It will examine the application content of packets. Okay, what we what 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 is packet actually? When you have the communication, okay, you cannot send every data at one time. Okay, so you have to do the packetizing. Packetizing means you have to combine all the data to make it as a packet. When they communicate, for example, you have hundred characters, so you divide by twenty data in one packet so it just have five packets so the five packets will will uh go through into the network if you have 100 characters so the network might be slow slow right so that's why we we we, we need to 
do the packetizing to make sure the communication is very fast. So this is the corporate firewall. Okay, corporate firewall. So where is your firewall? So you have inner firewall and outer firewall. Outer firewall if you want to access to the internet. Inner firewall if you want to access to your server. So you must have the inner and outer. Actually, in your computer system also, you have the firewall when you have the up you have the updating antivirus sometimes it uh it will uh, when you install the antivirus the uh not the pirate antivirus so you have they, they they come along with the firewall okay either you want to turn on or turn off the firewall number four is intrusion detection system ids okay so ids if you want to detect and deter the intruders we don't want other outsiders, the people that we cannot trust, okay, want to access to our system. That's why we have IDS. Okay, number five, we have antivirus and anti-spyware software. Okay, this is to check uh, your computer presence. Okay, to, uh, we want to eliminate okay, whatever that is no not usable to our system and requires continual updating. What happened to our computer system usually? Uh, you not update your antivirus. Maybe you use the not the uh uh the the uh you use the the pirate antivirus. Actually, antivirus you have to uh, uh you have to do the updating. For example, if you have uh the original antivirus, okay. Uh, for example, you have McPhee, and then you want to uh. Uh, and then the due date end okay the end of the due date so what happened you have to install you have to update by using uh, you have to buy another antivirus another antivirus means you just update the antivirus okay because sometimes we never know whatever when you use your computer system we never know that your computer system okay i have been uh, you have a lot of communication you browse the YouTube, you browse the Facebook. We never know the people will send you uh, the virus. You have you want to open some of the browsers. You open the uh, the internet, uh, the uh, the uh, the website. So we have many types of antivirus. Um, you can use Avira. You can use Kaspersky. You can use McPhee. So it's up to you. But if you are using the McPhee, uh, you want to uh, upgrade uh, for the uh, next. You can use the, the same antivirus or you want to change. So it's up to you. Okay. So still that you have to buy the the, uh, the, the new update. All right. Number, number six is Unified Threat Management System or we call it as UTM system. Uh, it is the comprehensive security management product. It includes everything. So it will combine. Okay, the firewall, the VPN, virtual private network, the IDS, the web content filtering, the anti-spam software. And the aim of the UTM system is for small and medium-sized business. So it is available for all sizes of network. So um, so the vendor, um, so the, the leading UTM vendor, we have many uh, vendors. So example here, we have Bluecode, Fortinet, and Checkpoint. And also we have networking vendor for the Cisco system and Juniper network. This is for to provide the hardware, right? Okay, so this is example, okay, for the UTM uh, system, okay, UTM device. Okay, so between, uh, it can be a between a branch. So this is the headquarters. So they have one UTM device because you want to combine. Okay, and then also we have the branch office. They use the UTM device, okay, to make it the communication happen. And usually UTM device, okay, this is the firewall, okay. UTM device is to communicate within the computer. Okay, so this is uh, another example for the company. So in this company, they use the network security. They use the firewall, virtual private network, intrusion protection. In, for web security, they have the virus protection. They do the filter. Uh, they do filter the content, uh, protect the from the spyware. And for email security, they have the virus protection. Uh, we you can see that for the email and web, they have a different virus protection. 
and also they have the spam protection and phishing protection. How you want to secure okay, the wireless network? Okay, wireless network, okay, uh, we have two types. Okay, the first one we have WEP, wired equivalent privacy. Okay, and the second one we have WPA2. WPA2 is to replace the WEP. So, what is WEP? WEP, we assign, okay, the unique name to our SSID. Okay, our system security ID and not broadcasting the SSID. We are not broadcast. Okay, we just do the inner private network uh, too. And we're using the virtual private network technology. Uh, most organizations that have a part of the network will be the virtual private network. And not a very effective because easy to crack uh, from the hackers. Okay. Then, uh, so because they use the same SSID. Okay. Then, because of the, uh, because of the disadvantage, so they change into the WPA2. Okay. WPA2, they have the strongest standard. Because they continually changing the key. It keep updating the key. Alright. And they do the en encrypted authentication with the central server. What is encrypted? Encrypted means that you lock. Okay. You lock the authentication to make it the intruders or the outsiders cannot access your system by um, uh, too easy. Okay. Too easy. Okay. Um, so we have encryption here. Encryption is transforming text or data into ciphertext that cannot be read by unintended recipients. You cannot be read easily. Okay, so this is what we call as encryption. So in encryption, we have two types, two methods. The first one we have secure socket layer and successor transport layer security, SSL and TLS. And the second one, we have Secure Hypertext Transfer Protocol, SHTTP. So, what is SSL and TLS? Okay, um, actually, in the network layer, we have seven or eight layers. Um, I don't know. So, nanti, uh, you better check okay, about the network layer. Okay, so about the uh, SSL and transport layer, this is about the layer involved in the network. Okay, so we enable the client and server computers to manage encryption and description activities. So they can communicate each other during a secure web session. So they have to make sure your web session might, must be secure, then you, you can communicate. If the, if the uh, network can sniff, okay, can, uh, they know that they, there is an intruder, so they have to cut down the network system, the network communication system. And then we have secure hypertext transfer protocol. So sometimes when you access or when you browse to any website, you have to uh, type HTTP. And sometimes you have to put HTTPS. S is for secure. Secure means the website is too secure, right? So it is for encrypt data flowing over the internet, but it is limited to individual messages. Okay, whereas the SSL and TLS are designed to establish a secure connection between two computers. This is to communicate between the computers. Okay, how does HTTPS work? Okay, so they use the SSL. So the first one, user will access the secure site and then they will check the uh, domain name system. Okay, uh, for the IP address. And then the website will record, website record will found, and then they go to the host web, web server, and then they will request, okay, the secure SSL, and then they go to website host, okay, this is the hosting, okay, and then the host will respond with the valid SSL certificate, and the secure connection is now established. Then they can transfer the data to encrypt, okay. Uh, usually when you type the website www.ut.com and just appear to your system so means that <coughs> they do very fast okay so they have to check everything okay from here to here but this is for HTTPS only okay HTTPS work but for HTTP and now we doesn't type the HTTP at all okay we just uh, go to www.youtube.com Alright, so I stop here. I will continue with the next uh, video to explain more about the uh, about this topic.